Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to set up the ESP32 S3 LilyGo development kit to your workstation. We will see this following topic in the video. First, we will see about unboxing the LilyGo ESP32 S3 T display, and then we will install Python. Then we will install Visual Studio Code. Then we will set up the platform I/O plugin in the Visual Studio Code. This is our primary IDE for the development and here we will set up the ESP32 S3 platform here in platform IO. Then we will build and deploy the sample project in the Lilygo ESP32 and for this we will use a project in the GitHub repository. We will also resolve some issues like platform IO IDE build not found issue. First we will see about unboxing. Lilygo T display comes with a nice box and secured with sponge. This development kit comes with USB C port, which is really good considering the USB C data cable is most prevalent now. For this, we need a USB C data cable. Connect the USB C data cable to the laptop and to the Lilygo ESP32 S3. This comes preloaded with a code which you can find in the GitHub repository. This code will list all the Wi Fi connectivity available. And then it will connect with the predefined Wi-Fi connectivity which is specified in the code. After that we will get a error stating connection timeout since this Wi-Fi is not present. The board looks really nice in the side when the LCD is glowing. The resolution of the LCD is 170 into 320 pixels. This also comes with a battery connector plus wire. This comes with the three button, one the key button next the boot button and then we have a reset button so for this lilygo t display it uses esp32 s3 board first we will install python go to the python.org and navigate to downloads and select the operating system of your choice in the download page click the link python 3.10.7 this will initiate the python 3.10.7.exe download. Click Customize Installation. Then click Next. Check everything including pre-compiled standard library, download debugging symbols and download debug binaries. Change the installation location to a desired folder and then click Install. Once the installation is completed, click Disable Path Length Limit Check and then click close. Now we have installed the python. To verify if the python installed correctly, open the command prompt, click the windows button and enter the command cmd and enter the command python here. We can able to see the python version as 3.10.7 python is installed successfully. Now we need to install the visual studio code. Installing the visual studio code is pretty simple and straightforward. Visual studio code is an open source project from the Microsoft, go to the website code.visualstudio.com and select the operating system of your choice. Here I select the download for Windows link. This will initiate the Visual Studio Code installer for Windows. Double click the installer exe this will initiate the Visual Studio Code installation. In my case I have already installed the Visual Studio Code so I skip the installation. If you have any queries or if you have any issues, I have a video tutorial for installing the Visual Studio Code, the link of which I have provided in the description. Now open the Visual Studio Code and click the extensions in the left navigation bar and enter platform IO in the search bar. Select the platform IDE plugin and click install. This will initiate the platform IDE plugin installation in the Visual Studio Code. Once it is done, restart the Visual Studio Code. Now you can able to see a new platform IDE button in the left navigation bar. Now click the platform IO IDE button. Now go to the platforms under PIO Home and select the embedded tab. And in the filter section, enter ESP32 S3 space dev kit C iPhone 1 and click install button. Now we will build and deploy a sample project from the GitHub. Now we navigate to the directory where you want to place the sample code. 
Now if you have git installed in your machine, then you can use the git clone command to get the sample code. If you are not having git installed in your machine, then you can download the zip directly from the github. I recommend using the git. I have a video where I have installed the git, the link of which I have provided in the description. Now enter the command git clone followed by the repo link. I have provided the repo link in the description. This will download the code from the repository. Now go to the Visual Studio code and select the platform IO button in the left navigation bar. It will open the platform IO IDE. Here go to the home and click open project and navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the sample project from the GitHub and navigate to example folder then to TFT folder and click open TFT button. This will open the project in the platform IO IDE. If you click the tick symbol in the bottom, we will get an error command stating platform IDE build not found. This is because the platform IO is still loading the task which you can see in the bottom status bar. So wait till it completes loading the task. You can also see the detailed error by navigating to the help and then toggle developer tools in the drop down menu. This will be very handy if you have other issues and if you want to understand the detailed error. In some instances, the Visual Studio code might still use the old version of Python. To get what version of Python the Visual Studio code uses, go to the terminal and start new terminal and here enter the command Python. Here the Python version is 3.6.0. We have installed the latest version as 3.10.7. Here the Python version doesn't match. Here it still uses the old version. If you don't have this issue, then skip this section. Here it uses the Python installation from Conda. To update the Python version in the Conda, enter the command Conda update iPhone all. And enter Y when it prompts proceed yes or no. Once the installation is done, restart the Visual Studio code. Once the Visual Studio code is restarted, enter the command Python to validate if the Python is updated successfully. Now the Python is updated successfully, we can able to see the Python version as 3.10.7. Now wait till the platform IO loading task completes. Once done, Make sure you have connected the ESP32 to a laptop through the data cable. One good thing with the platform IO IDE is it will automatically identify the plugged in device and you can see that by going to the device tab in the left navigation bar. Now click the tick button in the status bar. This will build the project. Once the project build is successful, press the boot button in the ESP32 and hold. While keeping the boot button pressed, click the upload button in the status bar, which is a right arrow. Now your ESP32 will get this updated code and once it is done, it will get restarted. And this code will be uploaded and started in ESP32. Now we can able to see the modified code gets booted in the ESP32. Now we can do some modifications in the code. Go to the tft.imo file and modify the string in the line number 31, 32 and 33. I am modifying the string as involve innovation in line number 31 and YouTube channel in line number 32 and subscribe for more technical content in line number 33. Now click the build button in the status bar which is a tick button. Once it is built, press and hold the boot button in the ESP32 and while holding the boot button in the ESP32, click the upload button in the status bar and this is the right arrow button. This will push the code to the ESP32 S3. Now the ESP32 will get restarted and we can able to see our changes once it is booted again. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos on computer science topics, subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you feel this content is helpful, share it with your friends.